one that I see two of my neighbors have one and I walk by it every day and I just stare hungrily longing to snatch it and bring it home as my own and it is a hello and welcome back to vlogmas we have a little change of scenery today the natural lights a little making me look a little Tim Burtony um but we're gonna go with it because I kind of like it Today we are going to be talking about my personal Christmas wish list as always with any videos where we're talking about products and wants and haves and whatever else. This is not to make anyone feel bad or to like flex, although like I don't know how you can like flex the things you want. This is not to sound entitled or like I deserve these things or I should have these things. But if I were to be making a Christmas list, a Christmas wish list as people people do. These are the things I would be asking for. I love watching these and seeing like the things that people are like trying to add to their lives or the things that they have decided would be like the most helpful for them. I just find it so interesting and insightful into each different person's type of lifestyle and it's also a really great way for me to figure out what people that I know might want or need when I'm buying them presents. So without further ado, let's just get into it because we have quite the list here. This year I really tried to focus on things that would help my me feel happier and better in my day-to-day -day life, but that I would not buy myself or wouldn't be the first priority um, of something to buy myself. So I didn't ask for any luxury perfumes this year. I didn't ask for any like specific like i asked for my doc martens last year like specific or my air fryer last year big ticket items i just kind of have a bunch of things that i know that i'm not gonna buy for myself that would make my life better so we got clothes we got makeup we got lots of different categories so the first category i started with is skincare and makeup so the first thing i'm asking for is a refill on my Inky List Retinol. That is one of my favorite products. It is just a basic retinol serum. It is only $11. And I know a lot of retinol products can be really expensive. Um, and I think it's partially because like people have been told that it is the most effective anti-aging ingredient, which like, I know that's why I'm using it. Um, and you can use it preventatively or like actively. And so I use it three times a week and it lasts for, ever and it's only eleven dollars um but i've had it for about a year and a half now and so i'm gonna start running low soon so i'd love a refill on that another thing that i just want a re-up on is my laneige sleeping lip mask um i have the sweet candy flavor now the pink one i asked for it for christmas about two years ago and then it was a birthday gift that year and so i've gone through my first one i'm on my second mini one right now it is what i use as my lip care i am not like a lip balm girl i used to be a burt's bees girl i am not anymore this has changed me i put it on every morning and if my lips are feeling dry i just tap some on and it keeps my lips in pristine condition. I have another one that I use at night, um, even though I'm pretty sure this one's supposed to be for use at night, but I just tap it on at least once a day and I do not have to worry about my lips. Like it's just a non-issue and I am obsessed with that. Um, I want the peppermint flavor. I have the sweet candy flavor right now, which is kind of just like a candy floss, um, which is fine. Um, they also have a mango, which I wouldn't be upset about. Um, but personally, I like the peppermint flavor. I just think peppermint things are nice. Um, the e.l.f. lip oils. I am jumping onto the lip oil train. Um, I've heard the e.l.f. ones are really good. I feel like e.l.f. is one of those brands that like it's very hit or miss um, because of how like low priced their products are, which is fantastic. But I do have some things from them that I do really, really like. And so I've heard the lip oils are good. I want three different colors, Spicy Sienna, Sienna, Cinnamon Dreams, and Coral Cutie. I feel like those are just the three different lip tones that I could see myself using as like a lip stain type thing the most. And then the final skincare and makeup product is the Origins Charcoal Clay Mask. I got a mini one of these because um, I just kind of been doing skincare research, discovered that for my skin, like for like a pore clearing um, treatment, I was gonna want a clay mask. Um, 
because it wouldn't necessarily be as drying and rough as a mud mask. And so I sought out this one from Origins that is just an activated charcoal mask that is just supposed to like clear out your pores and it absolutely does that. Um, I used it, I don't know, like maybe once or twice a month. Um, and I went through the mini in about a year. And so I would love to have the full size one. Um, the full size one is a little expensive, it's $31. The mini was like 15. And so like that's why I didn't get the full size one because I wasn't sure if I liked it. Um, but now it's definitely part of like my skincare routine, my mask rotation. I really have, I have an exfoliating mask, I have a pore clearing mask, and then I have like a rejuvenating moisturizing mask. And this Origins one was my like pore clearing when I really felt like I just needed like my skin to be gunked out. Um, that is what I used and I really, it was nice you put it on and you just like wait until it hardens, um, which is very satisfying. I don't know, it gives you like that very spa feel. Um, and it's like a dark gray, so it looks like a mud mask. It's very like an experience um, in that way. And then you just rinse it off and I definitely always moisturized or I used a moisturizing mask afterwards because it really does kind of suck everything out. But I did like the feeling of having everything gross drained out without feeling like my skin had been like abused or sucked dry. All right, candles. I'm just going to whip through these real quick. I am of course asking for my restock of Bath & Body Works candles. I do this every single year. The scents that I am asking for this year are my very favorite, Stress Relief or Eucalyptus Mint. It makes my house smell like a spa. It makes my heart happy. Tis the Season is another favorite of mine. Harvest Gathering, White Eucalyptus and Sage, Lakeside Morning, White Pumpkin, and Hinoki Wood and Lavender. I also, I wish Bath & Body Works would come out with a Lavender Eucalyptus Candle because that is also one of my favorite scents. I just find it very peaceful and calming and clean. Um, and so I, my mom got me some really nice Lavender Eucalyptus candles for my birthday, but I burnt through them so fast that I feel like if I asked for them again, it would just be like kind of a waste because um, it's a lot of money and I burned through them really fast. But I would love if Bath & Body Works came out with that. Um, and then the other candles I'm asking for are actually some Forever Mood candles, um, Jackie Ina's candle company. I asked the most popular one, I'm pretty sure it is Caked Up, that one. Spring Flings, Burning Bridges, Not Down to Earth, Chasing Waterfalls, Leaf Me Be, and Spice of Life. I, truth be told, have not actually smelled these candles. I just really, really had good, heard good things about their scents and their burn time, and I was really, really keen to try them, and so I just like read through the ones on the websites and kind of picked out the ones that I thought sounded good for me. I am really into candles, and I've been picking them out for like the last few years for myself, like, and I always read the scent notes on the ones that I like, and so I feel like I've gotten pretty good at like gauging what I'm probably gonna like and what I'm probably not. Not down to like what like my favorite will be, but like, I can pick out scents that I'm like, mm, don't like that one, mm, don't like that, not gonna like that. And so those are the ones that are like settled on that I was pretty sure I would like. And then finally like rounding out the candle category, I need a candle wick trimmer. Well, I don't need one, uh, I would like one. I have not been doing that. I have not been trimming my candle wicks to a quarter inch before lighting them, which I know is supposed to be better for the longevity of the candle and to have it burn evenly and produce less smoke or whatever. I have not been doing that. I would like one that is um, in a gold or brass tone. So we're in like home things now. This is so like chuggy and cringy millennial, millennial of me. Um, but I want this peachy clean bath mat. I want it, I think it's adorable, I think it's cute, and it matches the coloring of my shower curtain, and I just think it would be perfect um, for a shower, and then if I don't like it in there, I think it would be really cute to have it like under um, the sink like for like washing dishes, like peachy clean. Um, I think that'd be cute too. Um, and I just, I love the idea of like a colorful home, and really the colors that I'm kind of like starting to build up um, the best I can are like off of the blue couch, some like oranges and yellows, and then like some green every once in a while and some pink every once in a while. Um, I'm really not trying to incorporate purple. And so I feel like the peachy color with like the green and the white writing would really kind of fit in really well. Next, I want a knockoff Roomba. Um, I don't care which one, and that is because I 
looked at so many of them and they all seem to do the same thing i just am so sick of sweeping um i hate when like this hard tile floor has like crumbs um and like pet hair and like people hair all over it but it is so much work to sweep every single week and like move all of the furniture and shit and so i would just like a happy little robot that'll like zoom around and do that for me um there are also ones that like mop. Like you can put like a Swiffer pad on the bottom and it'll just go around and like mop for you, which I think is really cute. Um, I don't need that feature. I would just like it to vacuum hair up for me, essentially. Um, if you have any that you think are a great alternative to the Roomba, um, because as cool as Roomba is, it's like $300. So if you have any that you think are a well-working, long-lasting alternative, let me know. Next we get to lighting. Um, the only lights that are actually in this apartment, there are, there's the light, the boob light that's above me, the lights in the kitchen, there's a light in the hallway, a light in the bathroom, and then there's a light in our closet. That's it. Those are the only lights that are in this apartment. And so there is no lighting in the living room and there's no lighting in our bedroom. And that sucks. Um, we have like a little lamp on the floor in there that's like broken that we plug in now and it's really embarrassing and I'm not gonna show it to you because it's that bad. Um, the lamp is literally broken and we still just use it because the light bulb works. Um, and so I really want to just like simple lamps to put on either side of the TV console in front of the couch. And then I would love just like a simple lamp to have in the bedroom so that we don't have to use the broken floor lamp anymore. Um, it's not supposed to be on the floor, but it is on the floor. And so these are the ones that I've picked out um, for either side of the TV, um, two of them. One of them is from Amazon and one is from Walmart. I think either one would be really cute. And then for the bedroom, I picked out this one. I think that would also be really cute like here, kind of like in this corner behind me, but we really don't need a lamp there. Or even like here, like if we were to just have one lamp, that would be really cute too. So really any, any of those lighting fixtures would be delightful. They are a little expensive though, so I don't know if I'm expecting those. Something else I really, really, really want more of in my home is greenery. I would love another string of pearls succulent. Um, I just I just need plants that I can't kill or that I won't kill or that I've learned will probably stay alive, but also that like bring me joy and make me happy and I feel like bring like the vibes that I want in. And so my string of pearls is doing like iffy and so I'd like another one of those to hang somewhere. I just love like the drapiness of it. I think it's so cute. And then I would also love my favorite succulent. The one that I see two of my neighbors have one and I walk by it every day and I just stare hungrily, longing to snatch it and bring it home as my own. And it is a donkey tail succulent. I just think they look so bubbly and cute. And like the ones my neighbors have are so like long and drapey. Like it is the cutest like willow tree looking succulent. And so I need one of mine and he will grow long and drapey and swingy and prosperous and perfect. And I'm so excited. Um, And also like some like large leaf house plants, not a fiddly fig, I think. Those are easy to kill, I've learned. And so not one of those, um, like a Monstera, not a fucking Pothos, I'm done with Pothos. I've killed three of them. They just don't, I'm, I'm sick and tired of dealing with their bullshit. Um, they just won't stay alive, no matter what I put, where I put them or what I do with them. But yeah, just plants, plants that I can't kill, plants that are pretty and that will like just bring greenery and vines into my space um because i hate i hate the look of fake plants i just think they're so tacky and ugly i have a fake vine around my window right now and it is the only fake vine that i will allow in this 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 home and then friendly and home i would just really love some more big fluffy blankets um that aren't christmas themed i really only have like one big nice one and then two kind of like smaller cheaper ones and so i would just love some more big fluffy cozy blankets um i know costco and target have some really nice ones the one that i have now that's really nice is from um is from costco actually so i would love another one or two of those um because we are down with living that cozy life i think it's hege or hege um it's like the swedish word for like a cozy life really prioritizing coziness and i am big 
big jump that um in my environment <laughs> so next we move on to books i always make sure so i have a running like to read list and then whenever i have a christmas list or a birthday list i like add like a scoop of them on so the first three are like classics for lack of a better word that i just have not read um Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney, and The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I know those all, so all three of those sound like books that I like have been prescribed to love, but I have not read. Um, they're just books that like basically people have told me or like based on what I've heard about them are books that I will absolutely love but I have not read and so I need them in my life um, so that I can love them and get attached to them as so many other people have. So those in particular I'm very excited to read and then two more are kind of like more informational books, more like learning books I guess. Um, we Are the Weather by Jonathan Safran Foer. He is the one who wrote Eating Animals, the book that I use as kind of a reference in my Why I'm Vegetarian video um, which I will link up here. Again he's not my favorite writer necessarily but this is about the climate crisis and how eating animals actually connects to that and so it's kind of a natural partner for eating animals. I also thought, saw Lena Norms do kind of like a little book club segment on it. Um, she says it's her favorite book and so as someone who is also interested in learning more about the climate crisis, I definitely have that one on my list. This is also a book recommended by Lena Norms, Factfulness by Hans Rosling and it is just kind of another educational book. It is more about the things we read and the facts that are presented to us and filtering information um, and like fake news and that whole concept. And then finally on my book list is The Great Big Pumpkin Cookbook by Maggie Mikulczyk. Um, I am so sorry if I butchered her name, but I love pumpkin baked goods. I do. It is my favorite type of baking is pumpkin baking and fall baking. And so I could think of nothing more lovely than just having something called the Great Big Pumpkin Cookbook to pull recipes from, or even just to like have out um, and use during fall as like a tradition that makes my heart very happy. But that's not something that I would ever spend my money on myself, but I would love to have it. Okay, so we're jumping into clothes now. I am jumping on board with the Air Force Ones. I have been an Adidas girl since the white sneaker parade began. Um, in like 2018, um, but they are starting to wear out. They are my third pair of Adidas, I believe. And so I think I'm going to jump ship onto the Air Forces, either that or they have some really cute um, all white Steve Maddens. There are also some all white Adidas um, where like the stripes are like all whited out that I might be okay with. Not the Stan Smiths with the green on the back. Um, essentially I need new, need new white sneakers. That's, that's, that's what this is. Um, I had platform Converse on here for a second, but I'm really just seeing that trend kind of fade and I'm not into it enough to want to like commit to it for the long haul. I don't know why I put this in the clothing section, but rollerblades. Um, originally one of the Impala ones, but then I was told that they were kind of low quality. Um, and that stuff would get caught in them and they'd break really easily. But then I researched all of these different ones and people were saying, oh, you should get these ones. And oh, you can't do tricks like that. I'm not trying to do tricks. I'm just trying to be a rollerblading girly, getting some exercise, having some fun by the beach, going out with her friends. Um, it's just something that I think sounds really fun and that I would really love to be a part of. Um, and so I put my size. I'm okay with them being colorful. I'm okay with them not being colorful. I'd actually prefer colorful just because I think it'd be cute, but I want to be a rollerblading girly. That is actually in my like 30 things I can do before 30 video. And so I just, I want to get, I want to get up on that dream this year. Um, if I do not this year, I will keep asking for them or until, until I get them or I eventually buy them for myself. Okay, so getting to actual clothing, I'm just kind of gonna like run through these because there's a lot of clothing pieces that I put on here just because clothing is usually something I don't necessarily spend money on myself unless it's a necessity. I usually ask for gift cards or I ask for pieces that I know I really like for Christmas or for my birthday. So I have two coats. I have this red one from Target and then I also have this fuzzy black and white one from Target. I have always wanted a bright red winter coat. This is like a shacket. Um, 
And so that kind of ticks two boxes. I wanted a shacket type coat for winter and fall and just like a really clean, classy, versatile, bright red coat. And then this fluffy one, I wanted a teddy coat for ever and ever. I kind of wanted like a black one or a tan one, but I saw this and I was like, no, like this is more unique, more different. And I think I would wear it more than the black or tan one. I could also see me just wearing it in my house to be like comfy and cozy and feel like I'm wearing a blanket. This cardigan I saw on TikTok as a reference from a Taylor Swift TikToker and it reminded them of like red. This is what I want to be my cardigan um, instead of the cardigans that they are selling on the Taylor Swift website, this is going to be my cardigan. I don't know why. It gives me Taylor Swift vibes. It gives me the vibes that Cardigan the Song gave me, and I would absolutely wear the shit out of it. I am totally a cardigan girly for fall, um, but a knit cardigan. Knit cardigans only, not like the thin ones that have been trendy in the past two years. It's just like have never really been my thing. Several dresses. I would love this dress only in black just because it gives me witchy vibes and I know I could see myself throwing it on and being comfortable and cute and feeling confident in it any day and I really am trying to build up my wardrobe for things that make me feel that way. They're just easy to throw on and make me feel cute and good about myself. Um, and I feel like dresses can be really good for that. I just don't have all that many of them, but I built up my like summer stock of them this year and I felt really good about it. And so I'm going to try and do that for winter. So there's that black one. And then there's this kind of like, I don't know, retro looking one, but I feel like it could just kind of, it could skew casual or it could skew dressy. And I love all four colors of it, the black, green, the red, and the copper so I don't really care which color I get honestly I would love to have it in all four um it just looks so cute and versatile and like something that would never really go out of style finally this one's a little funky and a little different um but I like that about it and I like that it could be again like dressed up or dressed down I could see like tights and docks but I could also see like a nice like blazer and a necklace and some heels with it so I would love this in the brown I I'm not a big brown girly, but it has been growing on me ever since it was like really, really, really funny. I feel like it's kind of dying out now, but I feel like I could see myself wearing this and feeling good in it. Um, and then I feel like with this, I could also mix black. Like I could put a black leather jacket over this and it would be good. And then of course the green, I think the green looks really cute. And then also from Target, I would love, if you guys have ever been to Target and really like looked at Target clothes, you know the brand Colsey. Um, they have these like ribbed bra and like bike short sets that I am obsessed with. And so I would just like several sets of those. Um, and then any other like pajama shorts that they have from Colsey or the Stars Above brand. Um, the Stars Above is a pajamas brand that Target has that is very soft and I have one set of clothes from it. And every time I go and I see pajamas that I think are cute there, they're always the Stars Above brand. Finally moving on from Target, but we'll be back because um, there are a couple more things from Target. Um, but not in clothes. I am also trying to build up my like workout wear collection because I do work out like 45 days a week and I have been having the same things for like the past few years and some of them are starting to wear out, some stuff I've gotten rid of. Um, but I also want more things that I feel like really cute in and are like matchy matchy. And so I found these two sports bras from Aerie that I think are really cute and they have matching leggings. And so either one or both of those sets, um, they're, I know Aerie's very expensive though, so like maybe just one of them would be great, but I would love like a cute little matchy matchy set. I, in like my dream world, it'd be from Girlfriend Collective, but like that's, <laughs> that's, this is way, way, way too expensive. We're gonna, we're gonna have to stay with fast fashion, um, unfortunately. <laughs> and finally in clothing, um, there had to be a pair of sunglasses. We gotta grow our sunglasses collection because I'm obsessed with sunglasses um, and just glasses of all types. These green sunglasses from Indy, they were recommended by Maddie Drawsback sometime in this last year. And they say, it's not me, it's you. Um, and it is. No, but actually I just think they're so like quirky and cute and I love that they're green. Green is one of my favorite colors. And so when I think about like all the neutrals I wear, I could totally see myself popping those on to add just like a little pop of color. They're so me, I think they're the best. Our next category is jewelry. I, I don't know if I've talked about this on the internet before. So my thing with jewelry is I, 
feel like you kind of have to pick like are you gonna mix metals are you gonna be a silver bitch or are you gonna be a gold bitch i'm a gold bitch i just think it looks best with my outfits i think it looks best with my aesthetic in my home in my clothing choices you will pretty much only ever see gold metals and so i try to build up just a variety of a few necklaces a few bracelets a few sets of earrings that i feel like can mix and match with each other to create different vibes and that i love and will last for a decent amount of time i'm not saying forever i am not trying to get things that are like 24 karat gold filled um i don't even think you could do that i'd be like too soft right um but just nice enough. This is from Kate Spade. It is gold plated. And then this is from an Etsy seller and it is also gold plated. The really pretty gold necklace I have from Ana Luisa. I also have these earrings from Ana Luisa um, and a couple of things from Anthropology and Nordstrom. I have just kind of been shopping around like all year trying to find the things that I feel like I wouldn't add. Um, I definitely am in need of bracelets. So I picked out this one from Anthropology that I thought was really cute and different. It had some sparkle to it, but was still kind of like simple. This one I like, I want one of the like, um, like chain clasp bracelets. So I just want to be this one, but just like a similar one in gold. I think that's easy to like layer or to just kind of throw on like with an outfit like this to just like add, um, like something to connect, um, the gold, the gold, the gold. Um, necklaces are kind of what I have been asking for just because I feel like I use them the most and so I'm only asking for one necklace. It's a little bit longer, a little bit more formal. I found it on this brand that was actually advertised to me in a TikTok ad and with my dangly um, threader earrings, I think it would be really, really cute to pair with um, and kind of have like a sort of matchy-matchy um, but not exactly and I like the way the pieces of metal that they have dangling just kind of catch the light and look waterfall-y. I think it's really pretty. I also think that could be layered easily with something. And then earrings, I only have two pairs of earrings right now. I have um, chunky square studs from Anthropology that I wear a lot. I have these threader earrings, um, or actually I guess I have three. I have these threaders, and then I have these stars um, from Anthropology that I always have in my right ear because I like the idea that it's the second star on the right. Yes, I'm a dork. Um, and so since um, I don't want to wear them out and earrings can get kind of gross kind of quick, I have two pairs on my list. Both of them are from Anthropology. The first I think would be really cute. It's a set of two sets. And so I feel like it would go really well just having like, if I wanted to have them matching like in my first and second holes. But then I think it would really go well with these threader ones because I have that like dangly element to them. And then the second one is, would be my first pair of statement earrings. I don't really have any of those. They're also just like all metal gold they're not like costumey looking or anything and so I feel like if I wanted to like elevate an outfit um and make it more formal or like have a statement jewelry piece to kind of like bring up the tone of an outfit I feel like these would be a great pick this final category is sort of just miscellaneous um this jewelry stand from Target of course it's gold um I the way I store my jewelry right now is kind of mismatched I just lay out my necklaces um like one after the other on this anthropology jewelry bag I got and then I have all my other jewelry in this little like catch-all. I think this would just be like a nicer way to display it all. It's also vertical and so it wouldn't take up as much space um, and I'd have more space on that bookshelf for like other things to display. Um, and it would just kind of be nice to have it all there. That way I wouldn't be paranoid about losing anything, especially like these little earrings that I take off at night that I don't want to sleep in. I just would be less paranoid about losing that if I could like pop them in somewhere that I knew they went. That wasn't just like a pile. Kind of in the same stint when I was at Target, I saw this cute freaking little teddy jewelry like travel case. And to be honest, I am not even sure I would use it for travel. Like if I didn't get the jewelry stand, I think I would just keep all my jewelry in this cute little case. It's like this bright orange and it's a teddy material and it has a little folding area for your necklaces so you can thread them through and then fold them up so they don't like get tangled and then spaces for earrings, spaces for rings, spaces for, and it's just like this little, it's so cute and it's only like $20, it's $15, it's so cute. Um. And I, when I do travel, I do put all of my jewelry either in, I put one thing each in those little Ana Luisa clap closed things that you get your jewelry in from Ana Luisa. And then whatever else is just loose in that anthropology bag that I like lay my jewelry out. And so I feel like this would just be so much better. It would be so much more compact. I feel like nothing was gonna get ruined. I feel like we would be all safe. 
um, and I always feel like it would be a better way to like take care of my shit. <laughs> Next, I want the Molten Brown Fiery Pink Pepper Eau de Parfum. Um, that is the only like luxury item I'm asking for. My grandparents got me the body wash and the lotion of that scent and I am obsessed with it. It is just so unique and unisex. If you've ever smelled Not A Perfume by Julia Has A Gun, it's a similar vibe to that, but it is just so unique and warm and just makes me feel so classy and pretty. And so I had to throw that on there just in case they have like a brand sale or something. I seriously doubt they will, but you know. And then finally, um, a new set of pastel highlighters because I use them like a motherfucker and mine are dying. So I picked up this set and the Taylor Swift Jade's Midnight Vinyl so that I can make a clock to have on my little gallery wall here. Um, or maybe even like over there with some of my paintings. I just think the Jade Edition is the one that I would want most on my wall. I also really like the cover photo of that, so I would love to add that to my gallery wall as well. And so I want little gold hands, little gold clock mechanism, um, so I can do the Midnight's vinyl clock DIY. If you have not seen, there's like a little clock in the center of the Midnight's vinyl. And so what you can do is you can buy like a clock mechanism at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, any craft store, and put it through the center of the vinyl and so and then you set it and it's a little clock and so your vinyl is a clock and I just think that's the coolest cutest thing and the clock mechanisms have things on the back that allow you to hang them on the wall and so as long as you hang it securely like how heartbreaking would it be if you did that and it fell um but yeah I would love the jade edition I do not have a record player I couldn't even play it um it would just be there to look pretty and then the cover is gorgeous. I love um, her laying back on the piano bench and like her pretty golden dress. I think it's gorgeous. So that is all of my Christmas list um, wants. I have a tiny little Christmas list for Miss Winnie just because my family does get like little treats for the dogs. Um, so if you are curious, um, Winnie's Christmas list is nothing turkey flavored um, because she is allergic to turkey and no stuffed toys because she couldn't give a shit about them. But she would love the Nyla Bone Poppin' Treat Refills. Um, that is her favorite toy. That is her favorite thing. She gets so wiggly and excited whenever I get those out to pop into her little treat um, bone. And she loves, like, trying to get them out. Um, consumable chews for chewers. She does not care about it unless she can eat it. Um, and so as long as it is edible and she'll be able to chew on it for a long time, she's down. And then a little cold weather sweater, just because I get worried about her being cold sometimes, but I'm not entirely sure it's necessary. Um, and I can't bring myself to buy her actual clothing because I just feel like a shitty dog owner. And so if someone else buys her a cute little sweater, I won't feel as bad. Okay, this video is already way too long. I need to shut up. Um, thank you so very much for watching me ramble on and on about all this crap I want. What do you want for Christmas? I know I'm definitely watching people's videos just like this right now to see what they want. Once again, like I said, this is not meant to be entitled or like I deserve all of these things. This is just if I am making a Christmas wish list for funsies, what are the things I would put on it? I love hearing what other people would put on theirs. So this is mine. Thank you so very much for watching. If you did like it, feel free to give it a like. It makes my little heart sore when you do that and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this i am posting every single day in december for vlogmas follow my tiktok it is linked below if you would like to see a little nugget of content from me every single day no matter what month of the year it is once again thank you so very much for watching and i will see you in the next one Mwah. fantastic Go.